Hey everybody, it's Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY and today we're going to make a Christmas ornament. It is the Monday before Thanksgiving. I am so excited. This is a week that I have off. It ends in pie and shopping. Who doesn't like a week like that? I do. Today we're going to make this Christmas ornament, getting back to what I'm supposed to be doing here. We're going to make this Christmas ornament and if you saw my post on Facebook, I kind of gave a hint as to what we're making. We are making the sweetest little ornaments out of clothespins. I think this turned out so cute. There are so many variations. And I even took a little bitty clothespin and made a little one. I love these. Let's get started. I use clothespins that I got from the Dollar Tree. There was 24 of them for a dollar of the little ones and 24 of the big ones for a dollar. Now the big ones I've already taken apart, took the little metal piece out, and I'll show you quickly how to do that. This, this is the clothespin. You want the clippy kind, you don't want the clothespin that doesn't move. You take it like this, I don't know if I can do this close enough, and all I did was spread them apart like that. Pulled it all the way apart, pulled one off, Pull the other one off. And now I have a whole bag of these. So if you know anything that you can do with these, please let me know because I got a ton of them. All right, we're going to start. You need eight, huh, you need eight clothespins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After you take them apart, let's see. Here's your clothespin with the little metal thing removed. After you take them apart, you're gonna glue them this way. And there's a little square, rectangle, whatever, shape in there that I try to line up just because otherwise it's just kind of wonky. Not, I don't like the look, but, and then it's, it's not even up here. So you really wanna get these even as much as possible because gluing them all together, and you can see there's a bunch of glue in the back there you go. There's a bunch of glue in the back just holding it together. It glues together quickly if you use hot glue. Don't try Elmer's or E6000 on this because you'll be holding it for a long time while it dries. Now I just plugged in my glue gun so yeah it's not ready. So let's talk shall we? This week has just, I'm so excited, it's just a fun week. <coughs> almost knocked my candle over. It's a fun week. Um, I get to do lives every day. We're making crafts. I have some girlfriends over and um, it's just been a fun week. Let's see if my glue gun, oh, you know what? I held my cup and I never took a drink. Let's try that. Mm. Coffee. You know me and coffee. All right, is my glue gun ready? Not yet. I am using a Sherbonder glue gun, in case you wondered, and I have the Sherbonder glue sticks, so it all works together. I am going to decorate my little guys once I get them done. I used this cute little ball, and this is the part that's so cool. It is a metal pan. I got mine all cut up, but it is a metal, like a cookie sheet type thing that you get from the Dollar Tree. And then I have three different size flower punches. I have a one inch, a one and a half, and a two inch that you just punch right out of this. And I mean, it just goes right through like it's paper. Not a problem whatsoever. So I have, I don't know if you can see, I have cut three different sizes. So we're gonna, we're gonna try, try different ones and see how it works. I also have all different kinds of embellishments we can do. I got these for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and they're just little different color red and gold balls. There's 110 pieces in there, so why not? Um, I have, these I got Hobby Lobby. I have the green and gold little jingle bells and then gold, a little bit bigger jingle bells. You can make ribbon bows. I made a little bitty bow. You can, I don't know, you can just decorate it up any way you want. 
I had a really cool idea because I have a whole bunch of these stars of maybe taking and I'll put it on this one. Put it across the front like that and putting personalizing them, putting somebody's name right there because I think that would be that would be so cool. Or you know, put your put joy, put Mary, put Noel, you know, anything you want on there, but I really like how that looks. It kind of looks like the star has radiating out that way. So kind of cool. So there's no end, I don't think, as to all the stuff you can do with this. All right. Glue gun's ready. Yay. So let's get my finished ones out of the way. I'm going to start by um, doing my bigger clothespins, and then we'll work to the little bitty ones. You'll be amazed at how quickly this goes. I already have hot glue on my board. All right. And again, you want to put the two flat sides together so it glues nicely. And I had to turn my fan off for this. Anybody that knows this season in your life, you kind of need a fan everywhere you go, especially in Florida. All right. Okay, I have little glue strings everywhere. Oops, you did not. There we go. Okay, we have one. Let's do seven more. And this glues up so fast. Make sure you get it right the first time. And maybe if you set it down on a board. Because this is one I glued earlier. And it's all wonky. I don't know if you can see that. I can't use it. So maybe I can get it pulled back together. But doubt it. Okay. This is almost like, um, what is that, contact cement, where you put the two, no, what is that? Where you put the two different chemicals together, and as soon as they're together, bam, they really bond. So this is kind of like that. i to put it down on a flat surface to make it straight. I saw this, this idea in Pinterest, which is where 99.9% .9 of my ideas come from. I'd like to think I was as brilliant to come up with my own. Every once in a while I do, but um, Pinterest is my, my go-to. And right now, oh my gosh, Pinterest and Facebook, everything is Christmas and Thanksgiving. It's just blowing up all over the place. All right, there's four already, so you can see how fast this goes. I think the fun part is um, not so much this part, but getting to decorate it once you've got it done. Okay. Oh, I was just looking to see. I didn't think I had enough, but I do. It's clear over there. All right. I tried this with E6000, and it, it worked. It took a while to dry but um, it became rubbery, like the glue was pliable. So the whole star, you could bend it all over the place. Not cool, because I, I was so afraid it was just gonna fall apart. Okay, this is the last of my bigger ones. All right. All right, already glued tight together. You can't move them for love nor money. Ain't, ain't moving. All right, let's glue these guys together and then we'll work on a smaller one. Now, I don't know if you can see this. Pull it back like this. I'm just gonna put a little glue on the top, like that. And then I'm gonna hook them together like that. And I wanna make sure that my line goes straight across. See my line? That's, that's a little, there we go. I got glue strings. I, don't, I wouldn't worry about the glue strings until you're all done and then you can make sure you clean them up. <laughs> Nothing any worse than going to a, a, a show and trying buying something and this, the person didn't clean up all the glue strings. I just think that does not look like it's completely done. Right. Now I'm putting a little bit more glue than I would when I was gluing the two halves together, just because this is 
See, I got that one a little wonky. This Because it's got to get in the grooves and hook in there. Like, get in the little grooves in there. I'm just doing this cross piece right now. So you, you glue the first two and then you glue those into the notches. So you need a little bit more glue. All right. I mean, look how fast this is going. It's, it's already holding. So you don't have to let it dry. You don't have to worry about it. All right. Now you can leave this just like this. This is a beautiful little cross. I kind of like that actually. We got to do something with that one of these times. All right. Putting some glue on the top. It was so gray and cloudy earlier today and now the sun is out. So it's windy though. See how I'm gluing that in there? Just like in a little groove right there. All right. Only a couple more to go and this, this thing is already together. So quick and easy. You know what, I wanna put more in that. There we go. You don't worry about if it's globby on the top with the glue because we're gonna cover it up with our embellishments. So it won't be, won't be that bad of a thing. Oh my goodness, I got strings all over the place. Not bad. Two more pieces and we're there. Okay. That one in there. And this one. Now, doing these four outer pieces, you kind of have to make those lines go correctly too. So you want these lines to line up across there as much as these little guys do. This is already done. I mean, it's glued together. And what was that? 10 minutes, not even? Well, not even because I had to let my glue gun heat up, right? All right, so we're gonna do a little one. Let me get my, and again, we need eight of them, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty-four in a pack for a dollar. You can make three of these ornaments, both the big and the small, for a dollar. My goodness. Okay, that's one. Oh, two, three. There's got to be something I can make with those metal pieces. They almost look like. A piece of a, a mouse trap, like you could make something with that. I don't know. It's where my head goes. My husband threw away a huge stack of uh, blank DVDs. Yeah, DVDs or CDs. I don't know. They were one or the other. And oh, I looked at them and I pulled them out of the garbage and I thought oh, I could really make something with this. And then I thought, put them back in the garbage. So I did. I'll probably regret it, but I don't need one more thing in my closet, my craft closet. So watch me down the road going, man, I wish I had those. There's so many things you can make with them. It's just, I just don't know if it's anything that I would want to have in my home. Come on. These are a little harder to work with because they're so tiny. Here's one. And I also like some of these clothes pins are darker than others. So it's kind of neat to um, match up a dark and a light half. I just, I don't know if I have anything like that on these. Kind of like this one here. I can't really see it. Half of it's darker than the other half. I think that's kind of cool. Yep. My cord is everywhere. I have a jingle bell down on the floor. So earlier today, I thought it was thundering. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I mean, I knew it was raining pretty good, but it was thundering. And then I listened and it was thundering kind of like in a pattern, like every few seconds it would thunder. It was Carl, he was snoring. So I'm not used to that. So <laughs> this whole time I thought it was thundering. He's still asleep, so he he either must have been up all night 
or he's just lazy today. Who knows with that dog. Do you like my, sh my shirt? Let me pull it down here. It says Merry Christmas. It is uh, one of the shirts in my, um, my Christmas line that I'm doing on um, inspiremefabulous.com. If you ever get a chance to go over there, I've got all kinds of shirts, even a couple of men's shirts. I'm, I'm getting better on the designing for, for men. Men are hard. I mean, women, we can do cute sayings and pretty colors, and men are just simpler, harder, if you can use simple and hard in the same sentence, creatures. They're just hard to design for. But I got a couple of nice shirts in there for them. Okay, got all, whoa, got all eight of those done. Let's put them together. I love going to Dollar Tree. I know a lot of people, I've heard from people that are saying like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of Dollar Tree. Can people do something else? And I understand that, but a dollar, come on, a dollar. So all of this stuff so far has been from the Dollar Tree. Even the, the little red berry things I have. The bells, of course, are not, but they have bells there. I just had enough bells already. I didn't buy any. The wooden stars, these here, I got as a set of a bunch of them. I don't remember how many was in there, 20 maybe, 30 on Amazon. I do get a lot of my stuff on Amazon, especially if they're a good price. Okay. Almost done here. Hardest part is lining them up and making them stay and not sticking it to the board. I keep moving it around so it won't stick. Okay. And one more. I might have to put another glue stick in this thing. Okay. Stick. Now I see I have some spots in there where it really needs more glue. So go ahead and just fill those in just in case. And it doesn't matter if you've got, I already said that, if you've got glue all over the front because you're going to embellish it. Already, there it is. Full of glue strings, but we'll clean those up. I'm going to set this one aside and do the one that I've already got going or already set up. What do you think about doing something like that? That is stunning. I really like that. And I think I might, I think I might do one of those. I kind of like it better than, well, not better than, because it's just different than something like that. Also, if you want to stain these or paint them, I've seen them painted white with glitter on them. That would be really cool, too. All right. I, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the two together. A big old glob of glue in there. And I'm going to alternate it so the spikes aren't all going the same way. Let's see. Love it. Oh, I'm going to move it a little bit. I don't have it on the center. Thank goodness it didn't dry. Okay. Oh, I love that. Now, with putting these two together, it does make a heavier ornament. So if you have a place you're going to hang this that's not real strong, I wouldn't do the two together. Oh, I love that. You know what? I think I want to stain some of these. Not today, but I want to stain some of these just to see how they turn out. I am going to take my metal that I cut out. I just, I just can't get over that. You can cut metal out with little paper punches. Here's my punches. This is my two inch, my one and a half. Oh. <laughs> and my one inch. There they are. I bought these for a different occasion and they don't go bad. I mean, you keep them forever. So I am going to use my my tin punch it tin punch outs for this um, particular <laughs> uh, 
Snowflake. Mm. Okay. I don't know what size, so what do you think? We have, that's all, ah, it's too big. I feel like Goldilocks. Too big, too small, just right. Uh, kind of like that one. Let me see what the little one looks like. Nah, that might be too little. Okay. I'm going to go with the medium size one, the inch and a half. I'm going to put a big old glob of glue in there. And set, whoa, set that on. Whoa, hot. <laughs> that metal heats right up there, I tell you. Okay. You're going to dry a minute because, wow, that was hot. Okay. My glue string's off. I bought a while back some of this at Hobby Lobby. It is just, um, I don't know, it's like a mini garland. It's on a wire, and it's just a mini one, but I want to make little miniature wreaths. You'll have to use your imagination. Little mini wreaths and put, um, I don't know, like little red berries or something around them. And that might be something... Here's one I tried, but it's awfully small. But that may be on a different ornament, but boy, without the metal thing, that would be really cute. I don't know if I can get my, do it without my finger. That would be really cute with a bow at the top. I'll put it on something else though. Okay, so here we are. Huh. Well, I got my, my flower a little off to the side. That's okay. Well, embellish it so you can cover that up. I'm going to take one of my glitter. It's a vase filler. Who knew? So whatever section the vase filler stuff is in is where I bought this at Dollar Tree. Ugh. Now I also like to take um, picks that you can have in the floral department. They're called picks. They have little um, greenery and stuff attached to them. Some of them have berries. I like to buy those and tear them apart and use all the bits and pieces of that. Now, since that is off to the side, I bet I did that when I pushed it down with the clothespin because it was so hot. See, I put that over to the side to kind of make it balance a little bit more. I'm going to take a smaller one. Okay, we got itty bitties in here. I'm going to do a gold. Come here. <laughs> if I can get a hold of it. No, that's a medium. Where's the itty? There it is. And I'm going to put that. Eh, maybe. I don't know if I like it with the silver. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. You know what, you offset it like that and nobody's gonna know that you glued the little flower on sideways. That's cute, that is cute. Where is, here it is. Do I maybe wanna put, I made a V shape out of some of that uh, little garland. It might be too big. <gasps> no, it's gonna be perfect. All right, I'm gonna put it right there. Nice. Oh my gosh. I love how that turned out. Really cute. All right. Now we need to put a hanger on this guy because he, he can't just sit in the tree. You have to have to hang him with something. You can use twine. I like to use the baker's twine or baker's string. I think it's especially the red and white and it comes in all different colors now. Let's see if I want to make it about that long. We'll see. Now I'm going to... I'm going to put a knot at the end so I have something bigger to glue. If that makes any sense? Instead of just trying to glue the two ends, I'm going to put a knot in there. Get it against the white, get it against my red shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little knot. And I think I'm going to hang it this way. Or should I hang it? 
I don't, yeah. So I don't know now. All right, and I'm just gonna put some glue right here and stick my knot right in it. I don't wanna touch it. That was hot that last time. Okay. Let it dry. There you go, isn't that gorgeous? There's so many variations. I think I'm really gonna like it if I stain some. I have a Christmas tree in our bedroom that's all um, natural. It's got pine cone ornaments and um, stuff that's more, more from nature. And if I stain these and put it on there, I think that it would be beautiful. I also have a Christmas tree in our living room that has big white snowballs and everything is white and silver. So I could even paint these white and put on that tree. I also have a, <laughs> I also have a tree outside that's all nautical and it might be nice to leave this um, natural and put like little nautical features on there, like maybe a little life ring or I don't know, uh, something beachy. Put seashells across the front. Oh, seashells across the front would be beautiful. You could do that also. So, and then I have a tree in my guest room that is all like um, LL Bean type stuff where it's um, plaids and wicker and and things like that so this could even go in there if you wanted to do um embellishments like little plaid ribbons i think that would be really cute especially if you just did the little the little ones and tucked them all over the place i think that would be amazing so i hope you like this project it is one of the i don't know if you can see them all hanging up here probably not let me see if i can fix that see them all up there Oh my gosh, this is one of them. So this is one of the things that we we're doing this week. And tomorrow I'll have a whole nother project for you. I'm so excited. I got everything lined up, ready to go. And I'm hoping to um, be on tomorrow, like around 10 o'clock or so. If I can get myself in the all together by then. So have a great day. If you like this, this video and you wanna make one of these, please save it to your page or share it with your friends. Uh, hit the little follow up there and you can see all my videos. So I look forward to, to hanging out with you. Thank you so much and have a great day.